Hi, welcome to Left Foot Media. My name is Brendan Malone. Welcome to the makeup free edition. Man, I need a haircut. Anyway, I thought I'd make this quick video because I wanted to make a reaction video to the brand new Suicide Squad trailer. So this is Suicide Squad 2. Looks like a bit of a reboot slash sequel to the previous one. So I thought I'd watch it and you could watch me watching it. So let me put in my earbuds here. Height of professionalism. Let's go to the old uh, picture in picture. Just like that. And let's watch this together. The Suicide Squad. Duh. Is it duh? Two. Trailer. Anyway, here we go. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. It's coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't need... Uh, okay, so straight away it's like, um, I'm not sure, I guess that's supposed to be a gag, but yeah, I mean there's probably a million and one other things that you could think of to say other than that gag about what he's wearing on top of his head. I don't, I don't know if that's a particularly funny opening gag to sort of, this is the first moment of the trailer, I would have thought this is the time to really capture the audience and have them in hysterics or something. But oh, the, uh, I don't know if that was it. And I, I just noticed, actually, as I paused this here, is that Peter Capote? It is, isn't it? In the in the corner there, who uh, played Doctor. <laughs> look at the look on his face. That's funnier than the actual gag. The look on his face says, what am I doing in this film? Uh, so anyway, not a not a great opening start, but we'll see where it goes from there. That's not the greatest gag of the world. One of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. Harley Quinn. Bloods. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, the gags in this are not great, are they? That I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know what to say about that. that these are these are your opening salvos in a trailer. Surely it's supposed to grab people. But that humor is pretty 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 average, I would suggest, for an opening salvo in what is supposed to be a big attention grabbing thing like a movie trailer. Let's carry on. Oh. You know the deal. Successfully complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. <laughs> that there, that there, that cat is funnier than the opening gags. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even know if it's a cat, whatever it is. But <laughs> that, that. That there is funnier than the opening gags. They should have led with that. That is hilarious. Anyway, carry on. Uh, and I look. I think that's Michael Rooker, isn't it? That I saw at the beginning there. Let's let's carry on anyway. Times are hard. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Can do the job for free. So this is the famous Suicide Squad. From the horribly beautiful mind of James Gunn. Ugh. I won't say anything about that. Nom nom. Any questions? Hand. Yes, that is your hand. Very. Oh my gosh, the gags in this so far. Are terrible. The funniest thing was that possum cat creature licking the window. That was more hilarious than any of the gags. Again, remember this is a trailer, and I well, this could just be a problem with whoever's putting the trailer together. You really hope this isn't the best comedic material that they've got in this film, because otherwise, gosh, it's not going to be that funny. Good. We're all going to die. I hope so. Oh, for f sake. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was moderately funny. That I'll have to give them that. That was a moderately funny gag. Uh, but but here's the thing: um, the whole deconstruction of virtue and heroic virtue and 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 replacing it with the cynical it is kind of getting done to death. Here's the deal: 
We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? Oh, no. no. Again, see, that doesn't even feel like uh, it belongs in this movie. That feels like a gag from a late night comedy show parody of a blockbuster film. Remember when Lord of the Rings came out and everyone, every man and his dog, actually, am I allowed to say that? Every every personage, every biological entity and their non-species companion, non-same species companion was producing these parodies about the Lord of the Rings and they're all dressing up as hobbits and Gandalf and doing silly parody gags. Like, that's what that feels like. It feels like a bad Saturday Night Live sketch that does not feel like a natural piece of comedy that belongs in this film, even though they're trying to go for a more co comedic tone. This feels like the kind of uh, gag you would see in a, you know, one of those scary movie movies, you know, where they, they, they parody and they spoof actual films that it doesn't feel like it's natural to that and it certainly isn't funny no if you cough without covering your mouth Harley. although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth oh man and so they kept that one going so i'm guessing that in between those two gags he there was something else and then she came back for another round and his little follow-up gosh like i said so far, the funniest thing in this trailer is a creature licking a window. And <laughs> if they just made that the trailer, that, that, oh, I would have been happier so far. Anyway, let's carry on. What's the plan? How the hell am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of d***s. If this whole beach was completely covered in d***s, and somebody said I'd eat every d*** until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone put is all over the beach. Who knows why madmen do what they do? Uh, so, oh, I guess they're going for the whole, um, I don't know, edgy adult comedy. It's funny. It's funny, man. He's telling him to eat a bag of male genitals. It's hilarious. Don't you get it? Hilarious. <laughs> but it's kind of not. And uh, the delivery, I'd have to say too, the delivery, that's John Cena, right? Um, not, not, it's not the greatest comedic timing, I'd have to say, in the delivery of his lines and all of that. But hey, like I said, so far the funniest thing in this trailer, <laughs> I still laugh about it, is that that possum creature <laughs> looking a window. Funnier than that gag. This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm going to get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Oh, no. Is that James Gunn trying to restore his woke cred? <sighs> uh, did anybody ask, by the way, when they jumped between those two buildings? Let me just go back and find that again. Let's see if I can find that scene. Where is it? Did it, did it, did it, did it somewhere here? Yeah, this scene here. Let's watch this again. Oh, yeah. Is that there? Did anybody get? Uh, did anybody else get um, Star Trek vibes watching that? For some reason, I did. What was it? What was that third Star Trek? I can't even remember the name of it now. So memorable. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh my God! We've got a freaking kaiju up in this. Uh huh. Uh, like the again, that feels like parody sketches from Saturday Night Live. It doesn't feel like it really belongs. Like, you know, there's, I guess there's self-aware comedy. There's, there's that whole, you know, thing of, of, um, uh, macro comedy where you sort of, you know, you go within the world, within the world. And, you know, look, he, he, he was in Pacific Rim and they're making a Pacific Rim joke. And it's so meta, you know, it's like, but, it just doesn't feel right. This doesn't, it's not that funny. It's just not that funny. It feels like, as I said, the kind of stuff, it, it feels like really lowbrow, cheap spoof comedy, as opposed to anything that's particularly well thought out and clever. Still the funniest thing in this trailer is that possum creature. 
<laughs> licking the window. That, that's all they needed. You had me at that creature. The rest has just been rubbish so far. Anyway, let's carry on and see if there's anything else. I don't want to do your dirty work. We love the rain. It's like angels are smooching all over us. Uh, oh, I can't even. Man, this is just... What is this? What is this? It's interesting that soundtrack too. I mean, so obviously it's got the whole James Gunn vibe going on. It's looking a little bit like it might be a Guardians of the Galaxy ripoff so far. Anyway, let's carry on and see if there's anything more in this trailer. Okay, so there you go. That was uh, that was all that was in that trailer. Um, I have to say that as far as I'm concerned, that was not that great looking of a trailer. It, the funniest thing was that possum creature and that's saying something, that's insane. That this, and, and here's the thing, this is hot on the heels of the, the, the mammoth success that's just sort of blowing everything out of the water that was the Snyder Cut and then this is what they follow it up with and it feels just like typical DC where, or the, the, the filmmaking side of DC anyway, where they take, with the Snyder Cut, they take 20 huge steps forward and then hot on the heels of that they release this which effectively takes about 30 steps backwards it, yeah there's look i i get it i guess they're trying to recover the mess that was the original suicide squad but this yeah that this doesn't really look like much of a recovery at all I, I, the interesting thing about suicide squad is that I guess that's always the challenge is where do you take a film like that? Do you go for the sort of dark, cynical, comedic edge or perhaps do you find uh, uh, the the more redemptive edge in all of this? Because, you know, they're obviously villains. I I think it would be great if someone actually took on the challenge because it's easy to do that kind of cynical, black, nihilistic stuff. It is, it's easy. Anyone can be a cynic. Anyone can be a cynic. You've just got to sit there and be cynical about everything. That, that's... It's not that hard to be a cynic. What requires a lot more skill and effort is to actually write a group of villains and to give them a genuine redemptive arc, which at the same time doesn't justify their villainy. You know, this is the whole thing of good and evil and light and dark. And, and how do you uh, not fall into relativism? Just saying, oh, well, their evil deeds are now all of a sudden don't matter because they're doing good things, but at the same time still make these characters engaging and give them a redemptive arc that's actually meaningful. That's, that takes a lot more skill. And it seems to me that, that this is an opportunity to do something like that, but it looks like they're just going to go for the cynical edge. And to be fair, this does look suspiciously like a knockoff of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy with a few more swear words in it. Um, yeah, and dirty jokes, but nothing that grand in this. have to say, I'm not really that impressed. As per usual, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please let me know what you think in the comments section below. A huge thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell as well and a huge thank you to all of the supporters of left foot media on patreon.com forward slash left foot media if you're not already a supporter for as little as one dollar a month you can help to ensure that these kind of videos keep happening thanks everyone see you next time on left foot media